So for the ESC pin headers on the flight controller, I'd recommend using 90 degree pins facing inwards. This will allow for a much cleaner build in the end. You're going to want to solder 90 degree angle pins onto ports 1 through 4, as seen here. So now it's time to wire up the ESCs to the flight controller. The front of my quad is facing the bottom of the screen. So the back right motor is going to be going to the top pin on the, ES on the flight controller. The second motor is the front right, which will go to port 2 on the flight controller. The third motor you want to connect is going to be the back left. And the fourth motor that you're going to want to connect is going to be the front left. All right, so now that you have your ESCs wired up, it's time to power the board. So you're gonna plug in uh, a two pin header. What I did is I just clipped an old ESC header so that uh, it only had two pins. And then you're gonna plug that in to the two 90 degree pin headers coming off of the Palulu. So this is a handy diagram showing you which motors connect to where on the NACE 32. Remember for this build we're going to be mounting the board upside down. So just keep that in mind and look at the numbering on the board when plugging in the motor ESC wires. Alright, so here are my PID settings. I'm using the Multi-Wii 2.3 uh, for my roll and pitch rate I have it set to 0 0.7 and my yaw rate is at 0 0.6. These are a little aggressive so if you're new to flying I'd recommend you know starting at 0 0.1 or 0 0.2 and then moving up it up as you feel more comfortable. These basically uh, reflect how fast the quad will, will do a roll or do a front flip or back flip. Alright for the ESC slash motor futures we're gonna check motor sop as well as one shot because the DYS 20 amps are one shot enabled. Uh, this basically allows for a faster signal connection between the ESCs and the motors. All right, lastly, for the receiver mode, you're going to select RX PPM enabled, and for the ser serial receiver provider, the Spectrum 1024.